everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and what we're going to do today is continue the discussion uh, from the last time we were talking about the effects of mucin on the body and how safe it is and why it's so important. And today we're going to go into a little bit of the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract and the cells themselves to show you where mucin is produced and why it is effective and of course one, at the same time how it compares to uh, certain types of medications that are on the market that uh, do have side effects and right here what we see is something called the gastric cell and that basically or the gastric gland that's a gland that actually is composed of a number of different cells and as we discussed I mentioned this on the last show but this is a very clear picture what it shows is right up here is the epithelial or the uh, membrane of your gastrointestinal system. So that's the exposed part. And it's called the uh, G cell area, it's called the epithelial. And right below this, right as you see here, there are these certain types of cells that's called the mucus neck cells. Now this is the area that produces the mucin or the coating that protects the cells and protects the GI system. Once again, remember what I said, mucin is found in the entire gastrointestinal system, meaning all the way from the mouth to the anus. This is very important to understand and why it's so protective. So you do have these cells here that do protect all of this area. Of course, right underneath there you have the uh, parietal cells and the parietal cells are the ones that are going to be producing the HCL or the acid that you have to have as we spoke about to make sure that the pH is going to be low in certain areas especially when you're talking about the stomach and once again we also mentioned something called the chief cells and those are the cells that they work along with the HCL the chief cells are the cells that produce the inactive uh, enzyme called uh, pepsinogen. Now remember what I said last time, pepsinogen is produced all the time, but it is not active until it is converted to the active form called pepsin. And the only way it's going to get converted to pepsin is when it is released into the uh, environment, the parietal cells that are producing the HCL and of course increase, uh, lowering the pH, uh, they activate that pepsinogen to the active form pepsin. And this is, of course, the pepsin now is the called proteolytic enzyme, meaning that it de degrades the protein, in other words, it breaks down the protein and gets your amino acids, the allows the amino acids to be produced. And this is how digestion really works. And so this is how this works, but you see that uh, there, each one of these has channels. In other words, people have asked, well, how can you have mucin being produced, which is coating that area, while at the same time, where you have the parietal cells that are producing HCL. Doesn't that interfere? And it doesn't because each one has their own channels. And this is how the gastrointestinal system works. And this is very, very important because what you see here is an example of what goes on or what these cells look like in the stomach. In other words, the gastric gland, we're usually talking about the stomach or the upper part of the duodenum, where you have to have a low pH in order for anything to work, as we know. So this is very, very important. And that they use the word gastric pit uh, just because all these things are below the surface and in this area here, of course, is your epithelial tissue. Now, what's very important to understand is that the mucin that is produced by the uh, mucus cells, mucus neck cells, remember, it, it is, they're produced throughout the whole GI system. And it's very, very important because the way this particular uh, chemical works in the body, and the way this works is to literally just coat the area. It has no interaction as far as chemical goes. In other words, you do have the conversion of pepsin, a gin to pepsin, and of course that will go on 
Well, at the same time, you'll have the, uh, the mucus cells that are protecting the epithelium from being actually digested by the, uh, by the pepsin itself because it coats it. So this is extremely important to understand the, the physiology of the gastric gland before going anywhere because now you'll understand when we start using the word uh, mucus or mucin, you'll see where it comes from and you'll see how it protects while at the same time allows the chief cells and the parietal cells to form that low pH, to form the peps, pepsin in order to start breaking down protein, which of course you have to have. That's that very important proteolytic enzyme. And the next uh, show we'll be talking about the difference between uh, what mucin does as a protective coating, a natural protective coating, versus other types of drugs or chemicals that are given uh, to stop reflux, to protect those cells. And you'll see the differences, how important mucin is. So until that time, this is Dr. Bob Berger, and everybody have a great day. And remember the website, drrobertberger.blip.tv, and we'll see you next time.